Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Today we are doing a part two video to the infamous dark side of the Scorpio. And I woke up this morning and instead of just sitting here and just thinking about things that, you know, Scorpio does or Scorpio is, I decided that I'm gonna give you a first hand look into myself because if anyone could explain it better than a Scorpio why not you know no one could explain it better than a Scorpio than a Scorpio so I'm going to channel Scorpio right now in this video and I'm going to speak from a place that is very deep and very direct and wicked Okay, so I'm going to channel that in myself. <clears throat> I have a powerful sexual energy. I am a powerful sensual creature. I love to express myself publicly. I love showing off my body. I love to be seen, but you can't touch me. I love flirting with people. I love looking at people into their eyes and connecting with them. I like to head fuck people. <laughs> I love to speak freely about sex. I love talking about sex. I don't have a problem talking about it in public. I'm probably making you blush right now by saying the word sex sexy it is a beautiful thing because i know that sex makes creation and that's why i'm so interested in sex it is the act of creation and i want to create <laughs> now i do do extreme things to attract attention as you know i do i say mean things that can cut you straight to the jugular you'll be bleeding out all over the floor and I'll just stand there and watch because I can. I don't care whether it's good or bad attention, just as fucking long as I'm getting it. <laughs> Men and women call me the heartbreaker. <laughs> That's right, because <laughs> I break hearts. I do, and they know that I do. <laughs> you deal with me, you get your heart broke. Mm -hmm. Now, if I am a married man or woman, don't try and fuck with me. Many have tried and they all failed. I will steal for my own survival. I will lead you into a brick wall. I will take whatever I need to get and to have what the fuck I need. Okay. I will keep my own children alive because deep down my children are a part of me and I will do whatever it takes to keep my family alive and thriving. I don't give a fuck about other people and their problems and what's going on in their life. I'm always concerned about me and what the fuck is going on in my life. Okay. I will put spells on people. I will put a hex on you. If I feel that you deserve to be punished, I will punish you. I will keep you in a place that you'll never escape until I feel that you are ready to be let free. Now, I believe that to love something is to set it free. And if it comes back, then it was meant to be. But if it doesn't, then fuck you. <laughs> Plenty more fish in the sea. Okay. Now, I don't care about the dark aspects of life because I know that that is a part of life. And I know the ones that ignore it are the most stupid of them all. Living in a world where they don't want to focus or even look or face the realities of the world makes you as weak as piss. Okay, you are prone to misfortune, accidents, injuries. Your own stupidity just can't realize how this world actually works. And you never will get it. And it's not my place to tell you how to understand the world. Because I don't care. <laughs> Now, I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. 
I believe that you have to put in a lot of work and effort to get shit done. And when I'm working, don't fucking bother me. Don't call me. Don't text me all the time. Don't be fucking needy with me. I'm not interested in getting, um, looking at my phone and seeing my phone blowing up in the DMs and shit. It's fucking desperate behavior. The more desperate you are when you come to me, the more I will reject you. And I don't chase people who reject me. And I don't chase people who that can't understand me. If you can't receive me, if you can't receive this, then fuck you. Okay? Bye. A common line that I like to use. Have a great life. See ya. When I shut that door, I don't look back. Okay? <laughs> now I'll roll my sleeves up and I get the work done. And I can do it better than most. I'm very capable and I will do what others are unwilling to do. I believe that no one can touch me. The darker side of my inner Scorpio, I believe that I am here to teach you a fucking lesson. Okay? Yeah, I believe that by me telling people about their wrongs, that is me helping correct them. I am correcting you. <laughs> yes, it is my job. Yes, I act on behalf of God. And when I do God's work, and when fortune smiles on something as ugly as some of the people that I deal with, for me to punish them, it is proof that God exists because I am an extension of God. That's how I see it. <laughs> and I don't give credit to other people for trying to harm me because no one can do harm to me. No one. I don't pass the buck and deflect my problems. When something goes wrong in my life, it is my fault. Nobody else's fault but my own. Because it's my choice. If you fuck over me, I will fuck you over. And I mean tenfold. I will cause accidents, injuries, miscarriages physical altercations, just to name a few of the things I can do to you. And I can do them from my bedroom. I can do them from sitting in my car. I could do them from an airplane. That is the power that I carry within me. Even now, if you're not a Scorpio and you're listening to this video, am I making you feel scared? I'm not even barely scratching the surface here, okay? <laughs> Oh, fuck. If I really let you into the darker side of the darker aspect of the core of my being, you wouldn't be able to fucking sleep at night. Now, I don't like to be ghetto. I don't, I'm not confrontational with petty, inconsequential things that are of no interest to me. I don't engage in like Instagram chit chat or Facebook groups or shit like that. That is childish and it's pathetic. Writing nasty little comments on people, it's just pathetic. Little troll. I'm not a troll. Getting under a bridge, writing shit, fuck no. I wouldn't waste my time. I don't waste my time or give my loving and powerful energy unless it's something of value to me. Okay? <laughs> so if you come for me, I will fuck you up. Spiritually. No, really, I will. Now I'm a very stubborn sign. I have a high esteem and I have a high confidence. I like to shine my light wherever I go. Secretly, I don't follow your God. <laughs> no. <laughs> I follow the other one. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't follow your God because I am God. That's right. I chose this life. Mm -hmm. I did. <laughs> now, I do like to indulge in the darker pleasures of life. I like the finer things. Yes, I believe in life you have to have a lot of money. You need to have a lot of wealth to enjoy this life. So when it comes to money and possessions, I'm not greedy enough. No, 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 no. More. I am not looking for low-hanging fruit. I'm looking for people that can help me reach my full potential. And nobody 
can social climb like a Scorpio can. And life is short. It's too short. And I know that. You see, a thousand years, a million years could go by out there in the universe. It's just a blink of an eye to the universe. This life, our life, is short and it's over before you know it. Ten years of your life can bang, go like that, like a flash. So I'm not here to waste time and fuck around. I'm not here to play. I didn't come to play. I didn't come into this life to play with you. Okay? <laughs> so yes, I'm selfish. Yes, I can be greedy. I love death. I love working with the dead. I love bones and skulls. I love the cemetery. I love wearing black. I fucking love that shit. And for those that are Scorpio witches out there, <laughs> blood makes the spells work. I will deceive and lie to protect my family. I will keep my family safe from everybody but me. Even if I don't know it. <laughs> I will deceive people and I love being feared. I love that shit. I know people are fearing me. Even watching these videos, I know people fear me. They're probably kicking away right now because it's too dark and scary. We'll have fun playing make-believe. <laughs> if you're dishonest with me, I'm dishonest with you. And I'm not afraid of taking risks. Okay? I'm just not. I know that life requires change. To create a good life, you have to be willing to change and be flexible. I can be kind if you deserve it. I don't do pity parties. I'm not going to hold space for you to cry. I'll give you a tissue after I'm done. I'm a very good judge of character. I have a lot of discernment and I use that discernment to keep me safe. Okay? If I see that you don't know who you are, I won't fuck with you. I don't care about you. Fuck off. Go figure out who you are and come back to me with some real shit. Okay? You can hold me up, torture me, try and break me. You can't break me. And you can't break me because I was forged in the inferno of creation. <laughs> there is steel running down my spine. My back muscles are my armor. You ever seen another Scorpio like myself? Look at our back. It's always solid muscle, rock hard. I don't like slobby behavior. I don't like laziness. I know you've got to do the work. And if you don't do the work, you don't get the results. To get a lot, you have to give a lot. Okay. Now I don't give a fuck about other people's problems. I don't want to listen to them draining me with their bullshit unless I am paid. I work in monetary value or energetic exchange. If the energetic exchange is not equal to what I'm giving you, then it is not going to be a relationship of equality and I can't be fucked with that. Okay? Some people think I'm a cold-hearted motherfucker. I'm a cold-hearted bitch. And they're right. <laughs> Everything that your friend warned you about is right. I don't hide my dark emotions. I don't believe I don't believe in hiding who I am for other people. I've got a bad attitude and sometimes you'll see that. I like to express my anger. I like to express my rage. It's boiling inside of me, simmering like a volcano. Can't you feel it in this video? Can't you hear it in my voice? There is something inside of me that is swirling. I don't wallow in self-pity. Like I said, no pity parties here. Okay? And I don't stay down long. When I get knocked down, I just get the fuck back up. I dust myself off and I get back on and I keep going. Now, I do like to work with the darker aspects of life. <laughs> my dick on my vagina is your temple. And you will fucking bend the knee when you approach the temple. I love my haters. I love my haters. I love to feed off of their dark energy. Oh, 
<laughs> give it to me. Just <laughs> give it all to me. <laughs> I love it. When I'm giving me that attention, every time you tell me you don't like me, I already know that you're watching me. I win. Where you focus your attention is where your energy goes. <laughs> no one can understand that better than a Scorpio. I am dangerous. Fucking with me just ain't safe. Now I'm not politically correct. I don't always word things right. I like offending people. I'm probably offending you right now by speaking my truth because secretly you wish you could say what I'm saying because I'm fearless. In order to, you see, in order for me to fear something, I have to have fear of loss because all fear is fear of loss. But I have nothing to fear because I have nothing to lose. I don't give a fuck about your validation or whether you think I'm not correct or if it's justified. I don't give a fuck about that. I just go do what I want. And if you don't like it, change your channel. Simple. But you've just got to come and see what I've got to say. You've got to. Because you've got fuck all going on in your own life. And I know you stalk me. I have many stalkers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I love, love my dark wickedness. It is beautiful. I enjoy it. And the devil is a very good friend of mine. <laughs> Demons are my inspiration and they watch over me. I love my demons. <laughs> I don't want to be saved. You can't save me. So save it. Okay. When I die, I'm going straight to hell because I don't see hell the way that you do. Hell to me is the afterlife. It is a beautiful place where there is no suffering. You see, the afterlife is a comfy alternative to this reality. If you haven't figured out, this is hell. And a frozen hell is hell on earth. I'm a titan that walks amongst humans. My piercing stare can see deep into your soul. But most of the time I'm fucking disappointed because your soul is blank. Your soul is just like, there's not a lot going on. And that bores the shit out of me. I get excited about finding a potential mate and all of the beautiful, delightful, delicious things that I could teach you. I can give you the world, but in exchange, you have to give me your soul. Now, I know that sovereignty is the natural state of the universe and you can't actually own a soul, but I can come pretty fucking close to it because I make you believe that I own you. I hypnotize you and I can do that. You know I can. If you don't know who you are, if you step up to me and you don't have the strength with a role to support me, to understand me, to integrate with me, kick rocks. I push you out and I cut you off. I'll give you a hot tip. I'm like a Highlander. I can sense when another version of me, another expression that came down from source is similar to me. Yes, I can sense another scorpion in the room, at the workplace, at the supermarket. The ones that have done the actual work here, not the dumb ones. A dumb Scorpio is just dangerous because they just go around stinging everything. They don't, they don't acquire much, they don't master much. Spirituality is mastery of self and that requires discipline. You have a spiritual practice and you don't get up in the morning and you don't do it every fucking day and it's not part of your day. You're playing make-believe. <laughs> like I said, I was forged in the inferno of hell. The only thing that can undo me, one of two things... Some Scorpios might even get mad that I'm saying this now because I'm giving you a secret. Hot tip. Only I can undo myself. My own ego can undo myself if I'm not aware enough. And my ego is my sense of self-concept. Or the only other thing that could destroy me or undo me 
is another scorpion, is another version of me. Now I am patient, I am a water sign, and I know that the sea erodes all shores and all rocks. Eventually, it might take a while, but I will have what I want. It's just a matter of time. I'm like a python. I can go months, years, without a deep connection until I find the connection and we are one. Fucking with me, you get the love, you get the world, but you get the pain that goes with it. And there is a price to pay for dealing with a dark scorpion. The only real question is, are you willing to pay it? <laughs> now, I don't want a boyfriend. I don't want a girlfriend. I want a life partner that I can build a life with. You have to be 100% solid with me. I want to make babies with you. Like I said, your vagina or your dick is my temple. And I want to create a house there in that temple with you. Now my house is dark. It is like a den. The curtains are always drawn and I like it nice and cool in summer. I hate fucking bright light shining into my house through the windows. Oh, killer. I will take on your enemies once you have integrated into part of me and become one with me. Yes, your enemies become my enemies. Your friends become my friends to a point, to a sense. If they annoy me, then I'll fuck them off. Yes, I can decide who your friends will be. If I feel they're not good for you, you're going to know about it. Like I said, I tell you the truth, even if it hurts. I like leather. I like s and <laughs> The female version of the inner part of me that I'm channeling right now, the dark scorpion. Yes, I am a dominatrix. Yes, get down and fucking kiss my boot. I'm not a sub. I'm a dom. And 50 shades of grey is nothing to what I can do. So putting a buckle belt around your neck and fucking you, get used to it. Now, when I make you my wife or my husband, when I say till death do us part, I meant it. You're a part of me forever, okay? Even in death, I won't leave you. So don't even think about having sex with another man after I'm gone, because I'll haunt you as a ghost version of me. You belong to me. Okay, love, honor, and obey. That gets my dick hard. That's the dark part of me that I enjoy. Now, I don't chase people who don't understand me. Like I said, I don't chase people who reject me. If they're too stupid to see what I have to offer, I just move on. Okay. Now, I'm not perfect, like I said, and I'm not trying to be but at least I am walking my own path. I don't hang out in chat groups and I'm not part of this community or your community because I don't fit into your community. I'm a lone wolf and a vicious one at that. I can be kind and protective and I like to hunt to provide for my family. Yes, I provide for my family and my kids because my kids are a part of me that I created and I teach my kids the real shit about life okay my bed is my home and if you choose to be with me or if I choose you then you will see a lot of my bed you will become my queen but most of the time you'll be head down ass up in my bed tied up probably restrained I don't want you to shower because I want to smell you I want to I want to sniff your scent and I want my scent all over your face too. And you know how I'm going to give you that scent too. Because I want you to remember that I own you. I will contain you and I will keep you safe. I honor the divine feminine in you. And I stand in my divine masculine. If I'm a male expressing my energy to you. 
and you will reach incredible places of sexual freedom and expression with me in my bed. We'll create worlds. I'll take you through a portal into another world. <clears throat> I will ruin you for other men because I know at just as much as you do that you will never find another man that can do what I can do. They won't even compare to me. They couldn't. They don't have the brain. They don't have the heart. They don't have the intellect. They don't have the passion that I do. So I will take your hand and you will step into that portal with me. And we are going to create a world of pleasure and a world of pain. And there's a very, very fine line between the two. And I understand the balance of that. Is this getting you wet? I hope it is. Is this turning you on? Is your dick getting hard listening to this? Good. I have a hunger for life and I have a hunger for food. I like to eat and I mean eat well. I don't eat shit food like McDonald's or junk food. My health is my main concern. Without my health, I have nothing. Without your health, you have nothing. I don't shit in the temple that is my body. I worship at the temple of myself. I understand self-preservation and I put myself first every single time, just as you should. Unless, of course, you are mine. I know I can be hypocritical that way, but that's just how it is. I don't give my conversation or my time or any type of consultation for free unless I choose to, like I am right now. I don't need permission to do shit. I don't need to know whether something's justified. I just go do what the fuck I want. I'm not a team player, but I am not looking for just a little girl. I'm looking for my queen. I will put you in that castle and make you feel safe. You will feel safe with me because I will contain the feminine energy that you are, the precious creative energy of your womb. I like to fuck and when I'm coming and you're looking into my eyes, you will see black. You will see deep into my soul. So you better give me eye contact when I'm fucking you. And I'm not just fucking you, I'm making love to you. So you better swallow because I will smile during my day knowing that I have a part of me inside of you. As a Scorpio, I want to take you in as part of me. So you must also do the same for me. All the dark parts of me cannot be avoided. I don't believe in avoiding emotion or confrontation. We need confrontation to get resolution. And I believe that to suppress one emotion is to suppress them all. How are you finding this video? Your enemies will be destroyed. Their weapons will make a fine addition to my collection and their head will be the centerpiece on our dining table. I'm a wild animal. Yes, I am. Sometimes I'm civilized and I might want to eat with knives and forks and other times I'm going to eat with my hands. I like to eat chicken with my hands. Yes, I like to get messy. I'm not here to be elegant and graceful. Sometimes I like to get into my bestial side, the wolf. And the wolf needs to do what the wolf needs to do. I understand psychology. I'm very, very interested in what makes people tick because once I understand your psyche, I can get closer to understanding you and have real connection. Like I said, I am wild and the only one who can tame me is my partner because I allow them to. (laughs) And that is me channeling the depth 
of a scorpion heart. In this video, I hope that you've enjoyed it. Maybe you found something relating to it. Maybe it made you smile. Maybe it made you scared. Either way, that's your reaction. But that, from my heart to your heart, is the depth that you are dealing with when you come for a scorpion, okay? And I will see you all in the next video because in the next video, we are tackling the Gemini and holy mother of fuck, we have got some work to do, Gemini. Bye.